black beanie and back talking about cleaning. Look at these views from tidying rooms. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What is truly good with y'all? Back with a Subway Slapper today featuring the most Canadian chips ever. Ketchup Lays. With the power of editing, let's just not deal with the bullshit and get to the food. Someone in my comments recently was talking about how they like were crushing all my Subway vids and they needed another one. Well, this one is, I guess, specifically for you, but also I needed another one because I love me a Subway video. So I got 12 inches of the rotisserie chicken, bacon, many veg, couple sauce, a meatball for dessert. And uh, that's really it. I just want to get into the video. We're going to have a little chat about something on my mind. Uh, also, coldest water. If you'd like to save 10 percentile uh, on your order with the coldest water, if you need a bottle, um, down below, code hoodie, and you use it in the checkout. Also, shout out to those who have been purchasing. Once again, you're the light of my life. Okay, so very much appreciate you. Now let's appreciate food and just get to the getting. Also, pure amateur move, pre-poured without you, so sorry, but here's cheers to the pour up. I'll promise that I'll get it in next video. I just kind of fucked it up. My bad. Delightful. Also, just realized another thing we have to do is blow this hoe out. This uh, blueberry waffle cream candle. That's right. I do. I burn candles. I burn blueberry waffle cream candles. Might seem a little not manly, but I love delicious scents. Okay. This is the sub that I've been craving this whole last time is this oven roasted chicken with uh, bacon cheese, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, green pepper, all the fixings, pickles. But mainly I was craving the that sweet onion dressing, man. Subway sweet onion sauce. Stupid. With a little bit of Chipotle Southwest, even dumber. But let's get it. Toasted, of course. I feel like with every sandwich at Subway, toasted is a requirement for me. Mm -hmm. A deeper look. Ketchup chip, one of my favorite chips of all time, in my top three for sure. Specifically by Lay's. Snap the texture, and it's got this super chemically like fake sugar sweetness to it. that I can't even explain. What I do know is it's delicious. But man, I was so looking forward to this video. And it's my reward for cleaning.
you might be like, what do you mean reward for cleaning? And that's what I mean. In life, at least in, in the little last bit in quarantine, I've just been like letting myself spiral for a few days. And then I just get my whole space back to fresh. Because mentally for me, having a nice, clean, everything in its place, you know, not dirty, nothing like that. Fresh laundry, fresh bed, fresh everything. Just translates so well mentally for me. I just feel like I can operate so much better in life in every aspect of my life. I feel like for me, cluttered space, cluttered mind. When I have a cluttered mind, I feel stressed out. It's not good, but I feel like it's a good character trait to like learn and integrate into your life because it translates to everything, work, business, relationships. I know I said that the meatball was gonna be for dessert, but I legit couldn't hold back. But yeah, I have this system in my life where when everything needs to be dealt with, all the cleaning, organizing, things like that, I like make it so that when I start the project, it could take me six hours sometimes to do everything. I say, basically, man, I just have to show you because it looks so good in there. Basically like, oh, you're not allowed to have anything pleasurable today, like watch anything, eat anything, do anything like that until you're like done your tasks. for me I just love having a mission having the task and completing it and being like mentally satisfied with everything being done and then getting to indulge and that's what I mean indulge in that right there a meatball this cheese this marinara these veg unreal I know it's easy to get distracted. I feel like I know so many people who throw on like a load of laundry and then either they finish it to the point of like folding and then it just lays on the bed and they don't fold it or they, they just like sleep in their laundry for a day or two and then they get around to finishing it. Or throw it in the wash, forget about it, leave it because you get distracted watching like me on YouTube, maybe. Go the next day. Oh, yeah. And then your laundry stinks. And you got to rewash it. Waste money and time. But yeah, for me, cleaning in that is honestly like therapeutic. It's like zen for me. I just throw on a podcast, maybe some good music. And I love watching my space go from like not ideal and annoying to like a whole ass place of worship. You know what I mean? And then I like candles. 
and I vibe right out. I make the lights low. I love dim lights. I love cozy. And then just like then I get to have my food. I get to watch my stuff that I want to watch. I'm mostly a YouTube consumer. For me, YouTube is 100% the new TV for me. Like, I just love the random chaotic nature of YouTube. Where if this thing is disinteresting to me, I just click to something else. I wasn't always like this though. I never used to be that on point until sometime in high school. My best friend, he was really clean, neat and tidy. And he told me one day about how like, you know, what he's gonna do and like all day today. And like, I'm like, you do that? And he's like, yeah, man. So it's all about being fresh. Subway, eat fresh. <clears throat> but he's like, yeah, it's all about being fresh. It's all about being on point. And I was like, all right, let me see. <laughs> so I started dedicating my Sundays back when I smoked weed. I'd smoke a little weed, throw on this Swollen Members album, actually. Shout out Swollen Members. And then I'd clean. And from then on, I just got addicted to it. I got addicted to the ritual of caring, caring for my things. I try to see my things as like valuable tools that I paid money for that like bring me call it comfort, satisfaction, joy, actual use. That's another whole video I want to do talking about essentialism and how everything in my life that I have around me serves a purpose, serves a function. Like, isn't a waste of space. No junk. I hate junk. Clutter and junk stress me out so much. It's like, while I appreciate a good birthday card or a nice Christmas card, that shit's going in the trash the second I read it. It's just what it is. I just can't hold on to like the sentimental piece of paper. It's like, I'm never gonna read it again. I know you love me. I love you too. And we'll just leave it at that. I don't need the card. <laughs> In all honesty, just you transfer me some money and text me, hey, Happy Christmas, I love ya. Better for the planet, too. Also, who says Happy Christmas? Clearly, it's a Merry Christmas. But yeah, I heavily uh, challenge you, or heavily consider you considering challenging yourself to be more thoughtful about your space, what's in your space, how that's affecting you, actually, like, because it does, it does fuck, fuck with your, like, for, Lee, for me, it does, at least. And, like, Try to eliminate things that you really don't need.
and try to challenge yourself to maintain like a certain level of keptness in your space as like a daily routine as a because it really is like a good character trait because it, it transfers to everything to be able to maintain and upkeep and appreciate <clears throat> like tools it's a, good, it's a good practice so anyways <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that one till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true <laughs> peace